Hello there. Today I will be going through lesson three from the educator's kit, the stencil educator's kit. And the main focus of this lesson <clears throat> are looking at events. Uh, we also look at variables and coordinate systems. So by the end you should have a general grasp of these three things. Events, again, they help make um, something happen. Uh, variables help to store information for future use. And coordinate systems and they help to draw graphics or help to locate where the graphics are and we just use a, a kind of XY coordinate system and in this lesson I'll show you an example of what our final game will kind of look like um, <clears throat> we'll be able to add a collectible item to your game and in which there will be a score attached to it and there will also be a sound attached to it as well so you see the sound that my score goes up every time I grab one of these coins so that is pretty much the gist of what we'll be doing. And this is just lesson three, not the extra activities in this video. Should be on the next. So let me just open up Stencil here, uh, close this down, and then I'll open up just the blank project here. Okay, so if we follow our tutorial guide, um, it tells us to run the game. Okay, and while that's going to run, it wants us to uh, will eventually be create an event in the in the coin actor coin. So let's just move this around first. Test out, see what's uh, there. Can we see we move our guy around and nothing happens. The, the coins stay as they are. So what do we need to do? We need to add an event. We want uh, something to happen when we interact, when we collide, when, when there's a collision between us and the coins. So what we want to do is open up, go under actor types, go to coin, double click on this, and this will bring up the coin menu. And under the coin menu, we want to go to events. Again, that's what, that's what the main focus of this is. Go to events and because um, we want to, to make something to happen here. All right, so under events, we want to add a collision event. So here it kind of breaks down what, um, how to find that. <clears throat> but simply on the left, these are how to, how you add events. On the right here, these are different things you put into your events. Um, but this here, this is actually where you create a different event. So we want to go with collision event. And we want to, when this actor collides with something else. So this is the the coin. Yeah, the coins are stationary. But when something collides with it or, or when, the, um, when this actor hits something else, uh, something will happen. So we want to make the coin disappear when the hero bumps into it. Then play sound. So hint, use the kill block under the actor property. So I go to actor, properties, and we see kill actor. So what does that do? Well, that just uh, will destroy will destroy the, the coins. Kill self. So we're under, remember, under the coin actor. So self is the coin, not the, not the hero. So again, we can test this out. And there we go, you see it disappears, but there's no sound. Sound kind of adds a, a nice little effect. So how would we do that? Well, if uh, if you didn't know where to find it, you could probably type in um, sound and press enter and see see the different blocks that come up. And there's one here that's play, that says play sound, which, which seems like the right one. Um, but I'll just show you where to find it. It's under sound and images and right there at the top. So you grab this, just plop it right there. One important thing you need to do, we see you have two different options. Under play, we have the option to loop or to play. We want to play. We don't want to loop. We just uh, play the sound over and over and over again. And second thing we need to do here is to choose a sound. So we click on choose sound. There's only one sound um, available in this project. Press OK, and there we go. Again, if you want to find out what it does when to loop, then I suggest that you change it to loop and test game out. Uh, in programming, it's all about making a couple little changes and then testing your game. It's an iterative process, so you make small, small changes and you try it out. Rather than doing too much at once. There we go. So we got the sound going. Pretty straightforward and the coins are disappearing. Awesome. So let's Scroll down a bit. We want to make a game attribute. Okay, so game attributes are variables that keep track of values, such as score. 
uh, we'll create a game attribute to keep track of the game's score. So again, another game attribute that you might think uh, you think of different different games, especially platform games, would be lives, the score, uh, maybe a time timer, a countdown timer, uh, even the level you're on, stuff like this. These are attributes that uh, help create good practice, um, good programming practice, and just make things a lot easier rather than typing uh, random numbers everywhere. Okay, so attributes. We don't want to just create a basic attribute here. I believe this will create a local attribute. We want to go to game attributes. So it's something that doesn't matter what level you're on, it will create, uh, or this attribute will be available. And I see that I actually already have score there, but um, let me just delete this. Remove. There we go. So game attribute, create new game attribute. So click there. I want to call one called score. You want it to be a number. Initial value of zero. Makes sense. Click OK. And now you'll have this little block here, which you can use, and this other one you can set the score to something. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so scroll down. Now we want to draw the score. So we don't want to draw the score within the coin. We want to do it on our level. So let's close this down and go to scene, level one, double click. Let's go to the events. Now, it says here, add a drawing event, add event basic when drawing. So again, we want something to happen. We don't want to cram something else in here. We want it to be a drawing event. So basic events, which are three basic events here. When drawing is the one we want. And we want this draw text block. So we, we have a tab right here for drawing. So I'm assuming it's going to be under there. And you know what? It's the first one right here. Great. Take that. Put it right there. And now now's the time to think. You want to draw what? You want to draw the score. Okay, so I want score to be in here. So how do I do that? Well, there's two ways. One way. Go to attributes, game attributes, grab the score, put it in. Or with the drop down, you can go down to number, game attributes, score. So again, my my score is a number, right? I could have made um, I could have made a game attribute that's a text, but no, score is a number, right? So that's why it's under the number. So also I need an x y value. So how do you find that out? Well. When you go to your scene, again we talked about this on the bottom right is an X and Y value of where your mouse is. The origin zero zero is at the top left. Y increases as you go down and X increases as you go to the right. So what I like to do, I just like to move my mouse somewhere, maybe where I'd want the score to be. So maybe I want the score to be around say yeah, around here. Why not? It's around around forty, X equals forty, Y equals fifteen. Again, it's, it's kind of arbitrary, whatever you think would be would be best for your game. Did I say x equals 14? Yeah, y equals 15. Yeah, wherever you, you like to put it. And let's test this out, see what happens. Okay. So we see our little black uh, zero for score right there. It's not the greatest. Position and greatest place to see. So we, we collect the coins, but the score isn't changing. Well, why is that? Well, when we think about it, our attribute, if we go to show attributes, initial value is zero, and then we didn't tell it to increase when we touch, when we run into a coin. So we told, when we run into a coin, we told, we want the events that the coin disappears, we want the event that uh, there's sound, but we didn't say increase the score. So let's go back to the coin and let's add that one last thing. So we go to events. And what else do we want to happen when there's this collision? Well, let's go to attributes. We want the score to go up. So there's this uh, there's this line right here, set score to. So what do we want to set the score to? Well, we want to increase the score by one. So 
you want to click down here and we have there's a math math block here and we have simply something plus something else so what do we want to do we want to set the score to the original score whoops plus one so you want one right there you want to take the original score right here remember this is just a number a variable it changes to score plus one so the same thing as saying x equals x plus one the score equals uh, whatever the current score is plus one all right let's test it out see how it works and let's just see if there's anything else here why wait no i think that's it all right so our score is zero we're running around yeah we see that our score goes up beauty beauty so again to recap we created an event a collision event we added um, three different lines a kill self something to make a, a coin disappear something to make a sound play and something to make a score go up we created that variable score that game uh, that game attribute or variable and we also drew the score onto our onto our level so thank you for joining me um, in the next video I'll be going over some of the extra activities for lesson three which and just in brief one of them is changing the font of our score uh, next one is adding some fake coins and when you touch those fake coins that your score decreases by one uh, another one's adding a timer and once the timer equals zero, equals zero that the level resets and finally there's a save the game event so uh, thanks for watching and I hope you uh, continue and watch the rest of the videos see ya